Dots and Us is for home to a fleet of autonomous, self-driving robots. These guys are on automatic patrol across warehouses and facilities to capture data with pinpoint accuracy. From a customer perspective, uh, it all starts with understanding exactly what's happening in, in their warehouses, whether that's when things come in or go out, so on acceptance or outbound goods, or actually keeping track of inventory across the different racks or the different areas of the warehouse. It's currently, the, there's a shortage of, of labor when it comes to people actually having the time to, to spend on literally counting things and recording things on, on kind of real-time maps of the warehouse. So we fully automate that process. When you write things down, you might make mistakes, right? So from an accuracy perspective, digitizing that element is going to be always a step forward. Robots such as these only add value to workplaces when they blend in with their surroundings. After all, it's bots and us, not bots and bots. They need to park themselves smoothly into existing processes. So in terms of integrations with current infrastructures, I think there's, there's two different elements. Number one is, uh, from a data perspective, integrations with the warehouse management system. So we work on, a, on, a, on an API basis. It's obviously information flow going from us to the warehouse management system and backwards um, to be able to kind of uh, reconciliate the data that we capture physically with versus the digital data in the, in the WMS. And that's done very like, seamlessly and quite quickly from, from teams, both on our sides and our customer side. When it comes to the workforce inside the warehouse, the robots, again, because they're fully autonomous, they can go around forklifts, around people. They can also kind of stop, go backwards and kind of um, take themselves out of, of a particular aisle if that's the kind of rule of, of navigation that we set. So it's pretty, it's pretty seamless when it comes to, to that interaction, the physical interaction with, with whatever happens um, in, in the warehouse. The technology isn't quite ubiquitous yet, but apparently the demand is there and the technology will develop as the years go by. Larger manufacturers will have or will be looking at the problem of scale, so they want to see across multiple large warehouses, across multiple sites, but um, in the same way smaller um, or medium manufacturers or um, logistics partners will be having the, um, the issue at a smaller scale, but also looking at the same type of data, same type of, type of uh, technology being deployed in their warehouses. So it's really a matter of democratizing the technology and making it accessible to everyone. Um, we're seeing this from, from multiple angles. Some of the sensors, some of the perception systems are becoming a lot more affordable, which in terms means you can get better quality data and derive a lot more insights from it. From a UK manufacturing perspective, I'm actually literally mind blown every time we walk into a different plant because I can see more and more autonomous technology uh, kind of welcoming us even from when we're walking through, through the door. The focus a lot has been um, lately on obviously the manufacturing itself. So when obviously the, the, the parts are on the production line and things get made and transformed into a product. However, um, more and more um, of our customers and manufacturers across the UK are looking at the warehousing side of the plant as well now. Um, so a lot of the workforce that used to obviously support that have, has kind of disappeared throughout the, the COVID period and or kind of redeployed in different areas. So they really kind of need the extra support to keep an eye on, on the stock, make sure that the parts are there so they never have an issue with stopping the, the production line. So uh, I think the, the automation in that side is only kind of starting to, to really bloom at the moment because people are much, much more open to like, okay, we've done a lot on the production side, we now actually have to look at the other sides of, of the plan to make sure that everything seamlessly comes together. Um, so yeah, really, really um, excited about the future. We know the manufacturing industry is continuing its drive towards automation, but it was indeed illuminating to be face to face with an impressive example of that ongoing transformation. <laughs>